My latest revelation of hell, extremely shocking by Zipporah Mishela on February 19, 2018. Ahab and Jezebel, other Israelite kings, Pharaoh's army, little children, those who don't evangelize and others in hell. Today, I woke up for midnight prayer with my sister Rachel. As we prayed, the presence of the Lord was so strong in the room that I could not even lift my hands up in worship. Whenever I lifted them up, I found myself head down, bowing before the presence of the Lord. When we finished praying, we were so happy because of the presence of the Lord which had come in a powerful way. When I went back to bed, I did not even close my eyes to sleep, when my spiritual eyes opened. I was wide awake and began to see with my spiritual eyes. I saw a large rock, like the ones which were used for sealing tombstones in biblical times. It was round in shape and extremely large and thick. It was laid down, like a lid to hell. I saw the rock move as if by a great pull, like a lid being pulled to one side and the sound of the pull produced an extremely great noise. Hell was opened, and I began seeing what I was not seeing due to the rock that had been preventing me. When I looked inside, I immediately saw countless people like the sand of the seashore lifting up their hands from side to side moaning helplessly. These people did not stop moaning in pain for one second but went on and on and as if it was an unending song. I did not hear them stop crying for one minute. It was as if singing a song that they couldn't song singing. The pain was horrible. They went, woo 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 non-stop. Their hands were in the air and they were moving them up and down in circular motions while continuously moaning. These people had burned so much that their skin was gray in color, like ash. They were countless literally countless. I saw men, women, teenagers, old people, the lame, the blind and even children. People were even in wheelchairs but they were in hell. They had sinned on earth. Some had an amputated hand or an amputated leg or just one good eye and some even had crutches. Being lame or amputated doesn't mean you will not go to hell when you sin. I saw all varieties of ages. Those in their twenties, those in their thirties, those in their fifties, those in their nineties etc. totally countless. I could even see the variations between the people. I could see that this person is short, that person is tall. This person is fat, that person is slim. Some even had beards that looked unkempt, while some were in expensive looking business suits etc. In short, I could see that they were people like us, from all walks of life and races. The multitude was endless in all directions, to the right, left, back and front. It was like a great carpet which kept unrolling without reaching its end. I did not see where the people began or where they ended. I was just in the middle. They were there for different reasons. Lying, stealing, pride, fornication worldliness etc. The list is endless. Children in hell. I saw a boy who looked ten who was there for insulting. He had learned these insults from what he was watching on television. I also noticed that he was wearing a shirt that had a demonic drawing of a Spider-Man cartoon, but the Lord said this cartoon had been drawn in the image of a real demon in hell. The Lord had previously told Rachel and I that he doesn't want his children wearing clothes with demonic drawings. There is a spirit in that drawing which controls their behavior when they wear that. The Lord had also told us that people should get rid of clothes with drawings such as skeletons and skulls and other demonic drawings because they have evil spirits. You can only pray for clothes without demonic drawings and they get purified from any spells that were cast on them while making them. The Lord said that for clothes with demonic drawings, these must be burnt. The Lord has several times warned that secular TV is leading people to hell. Secular TV is any non-Christian program for example, all worldly movies including family movies, soap operas, wrestling, Worldly cartoons for example like those found on Disney Junior, Jim Jam, Nickelodeon etc. and talk shows that don't glorify God for example the Tyra Banks show and other worldly things even those which are called Christian movies or any other entertainment which if Jesus came to your house, you wouldn't watch in his presence. 
Secular music is also any non-Christian song and even songs that are called Christian by people and yet have worldly beats such as rumba, reggae, rap etc. are unholy to the Lord. 1 John 2 15-17, James 4 4 I saw a young girl of about 8 who was in hell for using artificial hair and makeup. I also noticed that she was wearing a string top and the Lord said this is indecent. Dressing your female children in indecent clothes such as bare backs, trousers, string tops and other indecent clothes will land them in hell. The Lord said, this is what the parents are teaching their children. Even girls as young as this are putting on makeup. The young children also see this makeup from cartoons like Barbie and they want to dress like those cartoons. They want to dress in the short skirts and trousers they see on those cartoons. Tell their parents to teach them the way of the Lord and to dress decently because they are coming to this place. If a child knows right from wrong and does not do right they are coming to this place. Many times in cartoons, they portray as though dressing that way is being ladylike. But it's all a trap. In this place, I also saw a demon that had braids made out of cotton wool, it was running about in hell and piercing people who used to do this on earth. They wanted to avoid using artificial hair and so made braids using cotton wool. 1 Timothy 2 9-10 The Lord also told me, this girl was also here for sexual acts. He told me, she may seem young, but she imitated what she saw on TV. These are the games children play. Children as young as this are having boyfriends and girlfriends. This is what they see on TV and they imitate. Tell parents to bring up children in the way of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 6,9-11, Revelations 21,8 The Lord moved his hand as if uncovering a curtain and I began to see another section of hell that I was not seeing. It was full of children. Some could have been as young as 5 and 4. The Lord said that if a child reaches an age where they know right from wrong, they have to choose to do the right or else they are also coming to this place. It's not about how old they are but about the sin they are carrying. The Bible says to bring up children in the way of the Lord. Proverbs 22 6 For example, a child who does not know right from wrong can steal something from you, but they will make no attempt to hide. However, there is an age where a child will steal something from you and they will hide that thing from you. It means that they have now known right from wrong. At this stage, they are accountable to God for what they do. People don't see it like that and they think that just because someone 4 or 5, they automatically go to heaven. Children mature differently and if a 4 year old knows that stealing is bad and yet they steal, that child is answerable before God. Human standards are not God's standards. It's about the sin on them and not the age. That's why the Bible emphasizes on bringing up children in the way of the Lord. The screams were deafening. Extremely horrific. Screaming that sounded like it can only be produced by extremely wounded animals battling for their escape from a trap. Now imagine that ten times and another ten times and another ten times more intense and desperate. I did not know that human vocals are capable of producing such a sound, especially not that of children. They sounded like horses. There is no human way possible of explaining this. Their shouts of desperation echoed to every inch of hell. They were, all stretching out their burnt and bony hands towards the Lord. No one was too proud to ask for help but they all, with one accord as if a signal had been made for them to do so instantly uniformly stretched out their hands to him. Looking at their faces made my heart leap in great and intense fear. They were looking horrible. For those who still had eyes, their eyes were popped out as if in shock of the pain they were experiencing and they made piercing screams. They were human and burnt and suffering beyond what can be explained and they looked terrifying as if they were not human but some type of deformed ugly creature. I saw giant TV screens on the walls and these had the cartoons they used to watch on earth playing. However, these screens had huge bars around them and the cartoons that were playing were no longer entertaining the children, but mocking them for being in hell. Pieces of skin that had been burnt black were hanging from the bars protecting the TVs like rags and the walls and TV screens looked splattered with human fat. 
Many of these worldly cartoons are drawn in the images of demons. On earth, these cartoons entertain them but now in hell, these cartoons had changed their character. Instead of saying funny things to make them laugh like they did on earth, they were mocking them. There was a cartoon playing and one cartoon asked the other, so, how it feel to be in hell, and the other cartoon looked thoughtful for a moment and answered, what can I say, it feels like this and like that, can't really describe it, and they laughed. And danced with their backs facing the burning children while singing in a mocking way, we brought you here. They looked like bunnies. I also saw a cartoon which had been drawn in the form of a lady but it was wearing trousers, lipstick and earrings, with long pink nails. It looked dressed up and the two bunnies asked, you're so dressed up? Where are you going? And the other cartoon answered, I am going to hell, I'll be right back, and they would laugh. They were mocking the children for being there. Secular TV teaches children many wrong things and makes sin appear normal. If you are not raising your children up in the way of the Lord, you are killing them. You are taking them to hell. Jesus said, why are the parents also buying their children smartphones when they are young and not monitoring what they are doing on computers? Don't they know they are exposing them to obscene material like pornography and the world of evil out there? Do they think buying them those phones is an act of love? Tell them to bring up children in my way so that they will never depart from it. He also said, many parents who claim they believe in holiness allow their children to go to birthday parties of their friends and classmates. Don't they know that at such parties they are going to make them dance to secular music? The Lord also said, there will no excuse taken for making your female children wear trousers. Not even in the name of sports gear. Is that sports gear or hell gear? Tell them to repent. Even when you buy your children school uniforms or sports skirts, the Lord said that they should be decent. He said that he will not accept any excuse for indecent dressing. Not even in the name of a school uniform. There are many traps to this place and the only way to escape is to cling to Jesus here on earth. The Lord also showed me video games, laptop games, and phone games such as Temple Run, Tomb Raider, Mortal Kombat, Need for Speed, Zuma, Prince of Persia and other such games and told me that they are totally demonic, a trap to hell, and bait for your soul. These have demonic spirits, dirty language, some are drawn in the image of real demons and they are addictive. You can speed hours playing these games but you can't spend 30 minutes in prayer. They hinder your relationship with God. Jesus said, tell them to honor me. All these multitudes you see here were humans just like you but they did not honor me, I am holy. I will tolerate no sin. I say again that I will tolerate no sin. I will make no exception. Not even for you who am showing this. If you do not live holy, you are coming to join them in this place. Even the parent who does not raise up their child in my way, I will require an account from them. Mothers, fathers, grandparents, uncles, aunties, the rich, the poor and children who know right from wrong, they are all coming to this place. The only one I will allow into my kingdom is he who obeys my word. Not just a church goers but someone who listens to my voice of correction and changes their ways. Every word the Lord said carried a sense of urgency. He was really serious and was shedding giant drops of tears the whole time for humanity that is lost. Many times, we make jokes about how it's okay if we go to hell but I saw the seriousness of this place. All such jokes are far forgotten and everyone wants out of this place. Even those who blasphemed the name of the Lord when here on earth and practiced witchcraft, they want to get out so that they can repent. Ahab and Jezebel I also saw people who died thousands of years ago and lived in the time of Joseph and they still wanted to get out. I also saw some who were dressed like ancient Egyptians running about in the fire. The Lord told me, these are the ones who were swallowed up in the Red Sea when trying to pursue my people Israel Exodus 14 26. They also wanted to get out. I also saw some people who looked like kings from ancient times, even kings from the Bible and they were begging the Lord to get them out. 
they had not obeyed God here on earth and they will be eternally punished. I also saw Jezebel and Ahab from the Bible and they were tied together, with their backs to each other with a pole between them. In hell, they were cursing each other every second. They were each saying to each other, I am in this place because of you. It's all your fault. Your fault. You led me to this place. They hated each other but I saw that being tied to each other when they had deep hatred for each other was part of their punishment. I saw a creature that looked like a big dog, almost like a wolf in appearance and its mouth was almost like the tentacles of an octopus, only that they were not long like for an octopus and it would open and close them like an octopus. It was attacking Jezebel and scratching her with paws like a lion's and cursing them in a language that sounded very ancient and yet very demonic. It did not sound like a human language. It would curse them over and over again with a voice of pure hatred while attacking them and telling them worship, for this is now your kingdom. Another ugly demon on the other side was stabbing Ahab with a hook spear. It had ugly feet which looked like spiked football shoes. Its toenails were huge black hooked claws that looked like sickles used for harvest. It pulled out his intestines and showed them to him. He was terrified to see his own intestines. There was horrific screaming and pain beyond human words or what the human mind can imagine. This pole that was between them could be rotated and I saw that the two demons kept exchanging who to torture by rotating the pole. The Lord told me, they are here for idolatry and this demon you are seeing like a dog was one of their gods on earth but it's a demon. They were deceived and now they must pay for their sin. Daughter, I love the one who sins but I hate the sin they are embracing. They are embracing it because they love it so much. More than they love me. The Lord also told me that King Saul from the Bible was also here in this place, but he did not show him to me. For all these people in hell, the things of the world had passed away and because they were practicing them, they had passed away with the world. I saw that for those who knew and had even heard about hell, I saw that they all felt as if no one ever really described hell to them. They were thinking that if it was possible for a human to describe this place, they would have never turned a foot to the direction of the road to hell. They were thinking if only I had known it was like this, I would have spent every single second working for him. If only I could get even just the tip of my little finger out of this place out there to feel what it feels like for an inch of my body to have no pain for one second. There was no moment I was at peace when I was in that place. Whichever place I looked to be it on my left or on my right horrified me. My eyes were continuously popped out and my hand on my mouth and I kept exclaiming, I was in shock. My heart was continuously thumping loudly in great fear. I could hear it with my own ears. Even the way I was screaming in horror shocked me. I cannot imitate here on earth how I was screaming there when seeing all this. It is like each of us had a hidden inner voice which comes from the center of the heart and can only be expressed in that place. You cannot express it here on earth. I got horrified and I thought, what if I remain in this place? But whichever way I looked there was no exit. Just people all around me. They stunk. The whole place was also burning with dangerous chemical called sulfur which made breathing 100% impossible. The people would hold their breath and when they could no longer hold it, they would try to get a tiny gasp of air. But when they did it, their internal organs would melt like a candle. It was as if acid had been poured on them. To these people, I saw that putting them in what we call lava from a volcano here on earth would be like soaking them in a tab of cool water and that putting them in the smelters we have here on earth, which even melt stones to liquid would be like pouring tap water on them. Nothing on earth is next to what they were feeling. Even the heat of the lava in hell is not like the lava here on earth. Its intensity cannot be described. No wonder Mark 8:36 says, what shall it profit a man? to gain the whole world but to lose his own soul. Hell was not a place designed for human beings. It was designed for demons. That's why it's so horrible. You don't have to go to hell. Heaven was created for you. Just repent and ask Jesus to help you. Ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants a holy people even just as he is holy. 
Not only does he want inner holiness but he wants outward holiness too. We have to show to the world that we are his children. Some men were even there because of sagging their trousers, or keeping dreads on their heads, worldly haircuts like mohawks, table cuts, making sheds in the hair etc. That is worldliness. Some women were there because of bleaching their skin, wearing different types of trousers, including office wear trousers, painting their nails, putting on fake nails, artificial hair, makeup etc. I saw men and women who were wearing fashion rings and earrings. I saw one young lady who was wearing a high waist jean trousers and she had black eyeliner under her eyes. The Lord told me, they thought they were wise when doing those things and wanted to be stars on earth but now, they must burn in liquid fire 1 Timothy 2 colon 9 dash 10, 1 John 2 colon 15 dash 17. I felt trapped in this place. But the Lord was holding my hand. His face was glowing with a shining light. I felt at peace when I looked at the Lord's face but immediately horrified when I looked around again and I continued screaming. People whose clothes were now only rags would try to reach out their hands to us but it was like there was an invisible shield around us, they couldn't reach us. They were reaching out for him too late, they should have reached out to him when they were on earth. Deep hunger, thirst, and tiredness. I also saw that they were terribly hungry. For some of them there was even a physical hole on their stomachs, like a big red wound and worms kept filling the holes. They are thirsty, tired, hungry, sleepless, and it keeps accumulating on and on. There is no relief from the previous hunger or thirst, instead, there is only addition nor is there any relief from the other torments. For those in hell, I also saw that even their own voice is a noise to them. They wanted rest, not only from noise of the voices of others but also from their own. Their own voice is a noise to them but they can't stop screaming. There is no peace or quiet in hell. Jesus said, Are you afraid of warning someone about a place like this? Do you know that if you do not warn them, they will be here, not only 10 million years from now but for all eternity? It's like a circle that just goes round and round and back round again but does not end. It's hard for you humans to imagine eternity. But they will be here for all eternity. Just warn them. Warning them about this place will not even take the whole day. A few minutes will save someone from hell. I also saw demons running to earth to come and attack people with worldly things. Contrary to how one would expect to see them running, these were running uphill and not downhill. They were facing up, and running uphill with darts in their hands on what looked like gray slides. These demons had their faces looking up to where they were going and they looked determined. You could see the muscles vibrating in their thighs as they ran. I saw things like worldly movies, music, and cartoons. I saw these movies displayed in street corridors being sold. These things were from them to trap people to hell. The Bible shows that hell is below. The earth is above and when coming from hell, you go up and not down. Ezekiel 31 colon 16 For the music, it's not only American music which is considered as secular music and takes you to hell but even local music, love songs etc. just as long as the music doesn't glorify God. I was hearing all that the Lord was telling me but I was terrified. I was extremely terrified. I thought he would just disappear and leave me in this place. I felt so weak and scared that I could no longer stand. My knees felt beaten and they were giving way. I couldn't stand. Great fear came over me. Streams of tears were pouring out of my eyes. I thought I was there to be tortured. I kept begging the Lord, Lord, what sin have I committed? Please get me out of this place. Why am I here? Please please please, I beg you. I have seen hell many times. But never like this. This was more intense, and the things I was seeing more horrifying. The Lord was still holding tightly to my hand and did not let go of it while I was in that place. He was holding it so tightly that I felt like it was locked to my hand. Not even the demons could have been able to pull me away. The Lord is faithful. He loves us, but he does not want sin. He was also not talking to me like an enemy, 
but like a friend who is deeply concerned and in a kind of pain that we humans are not able to feel. He was concerned that people are coming to this place and he didn't want them to come anymore. He couldn't bear the pain. I kept protesting that I wanted to get out of that place. The Lord looked at me with an expression on his face. He had an expression of deep concern and shook his head from side to side as if saying, I am showing you so that the world can know. He shook his head as if saying, You don't know, you really don't know what it feels like to be burning in this place. The Lord wept bitterly with his hand over his eyes. He helped me back up to my feet and told me, I will not leave you here. But you must say everything I have told you. Even about your family. I want the world to know that no one is too special to go to hell. I love you and I love your family. I love the world. But people must repent because although I love them, they will come to this place if they do not repent. Oh how I love them so. I love them so. I died for them. The Lord groaned like one deeply distressed that I even heard his heart groan. He would weep bitterly and not silently. He wept loudly with great groans. I saw blood flooding from his hands. The Lord's blood was red but it looked like light was coming from it like white rays of light. He said, tell them that my blood washes clean from all sin. Satan lies to them that no matter how hard they try, they will never make it to heaven but tell them I the Lord Jesus Christ tell them that they will make it. Satan lies to them so that he can defeat them. If they obey my voice and ask for my Holy Spirit to come and live inside of them, they will make it. For I have overcome the world. He said, even many of your family members right now currently are all marching to this place because of secular TV, secular music, wearing trousers when they are female, artificial hair and worldliness. Tell them I will make no exception. Tell people from all races that I will make no exception. No one is above my holy standards. All men are equal to me. From the richest on earth, even to the poorest of them all. I am God. I do not have human standards. My standards are established like the earth and they shall not be moved. Many people like saying, this message about holiness is for Africans. We have been wearing makeup and trousers and it's been our tradition for years or they say, I am doing this so that I can look smart. Are you saying that God made you dirty the way he created you? Hell is waiting if you do not repent. Isaiah 29 16, can the thing formed say, he doesn't understand. Routine dances. I also noticed many other things in hell, apart from what the Lord was showing me. I saw a group of demons lined up to make two rows. They were dressed in grey metallic armor which had no provision for the eyes or nose but was completely sealed. They would dance the routine dances people dance here on earth. They would move to the right, to the left, back, whirl around and then raise one hand up and make a goat head symbol with their fingers and exclaim at once, all hail Satan. This part of hell they were dancing from was even raining acid. I understood that for all those who do these dances, they are actually giving praise to Satan just like these demons were doing. They are coming to this place. Many people also do these kinds of dances at weddings. Friendship with the world is enmity with God. James 4 colon 4 those dances are demonic. Many people do this, even in movies and what people see on TV, they imitate. I also saw a big board with words which looked like upside letters written there. However, their letters did not look like any letters in our alphabet. A huge demon was standing over the board and pointing at the board using a rod. He was speaking to demons that had big round heads but baby-like bodies and were seated cross-legged. The eyes of these demons were evil red. I understood that this huge demon was teaching this group of identical demons more ways of bringing people to hell. More tactics to bring humanity to this place. The demons had big heads and small bodies, which means that they know so much, but come innocently among humans like babies, as if they know nothing. Demons in human form are real and they are living among us. Jesus said, tell my people to pray. These demons are nothing when they encounter prayer. I am he. There is no other God. I alone am God. 
I saw Satan standing afar off observing us intently. He was looking at the Lord with a sly eye and looking deeply thoughtful. I could hear his thoughts, he is destroying my kingdom. I can't believe that he is destroying my kingdom. I have worked so hard to have them in this place and I can't believe he wants to destroy my kingdom. And he started screaming at me in a creepy voice that sounded like it was passing through some metallic medium and as if it's many people talking at once shut up, shut up. If you don't shut up about what you've seen I'll bring your mother to this place. I'll bring your father to this place. I'll bring your brother. When you have children, I'll bring them all to this place. I'll roast them and eat their flesh. So you had better shut up. He was trying to blackmail me. But the Lord told me he is the father of all lies. Every word that proceeds from his mouth is a lie. Speak and do not be silent. I want humanity to be saved. Those who don't evangelize. The Lord said, the one who does not share my gospel with others hinders them from knowing the truth. Those people are falling into hell every second. Look. He waved his hand and I saw countless multitudes. Like nations and sands on the seashore falling down at the speed of light into hell. Their clothes were blowing fiercely with the air and some had their hands spread out. They were screaming as they fell, while kicking in the air, trying to go back up to no avail, and others were screaming other things, but they were all falling fast into this dark hole. They were people of all ages. People's brothers here on earth, people's sisters, mothers, and fathers. Different people's families. I was in great sorrow and heartbroken when seeing this. Tears were just flooding my eyes. I imagined that, what if it was my own family falling into this place right now? I saw huge rooms filled with tables that had no end. Here, were people who never evangelized the gospel on earth. On each table was a person, with a demon torturing them. Some were handcuffed to the wall so that they do not escape. They would slice off their hands and feet. These people were in horrible torment and their whole bodies looked as if they had been bathed in blood. When the Lord had opened that room, there was a terrible heat that came out and smoke was rising up in the air with steam that came from the heat. The people had boils as if boiling. They were in terrible torment. Mark 16, 15-16 tells us to preach the gospel to every creature. When they sensed the presence of the Lord, they all raised up their heads and some of those who were not cuffed, their hands screaming The scream was a scream for mercy as if all saying, Pleiaeas. Get us out of here, we can't take it anymore. We want to go back to earth to make things right. Masturbators. I also saw another hall of torment with endless tables. These were people who watched pornography and practiced masturbation. On each table was one person being cut to pieces and tortured by a demon. There were men and women from all age ranges and races. They would cut off the men's privates and for the women, they would insert a saw in and pull it out with force so that the person was severely destroyed. They would also saw the women all the way to their stomachs, and make a shape of a cross on them. Revelations 21,8 I could also see that they had landed in hell in different states. Some looked casually dressed, some in flip-flops, some barefoot etc. They were in terrible pain, but they can't die. People in hell are dead already. I saw a man who was there on one of the tables and he glanced at us. The demon torturing him had big ears and it looked as if it was performing an operation. When it saw the Lord, it just glanced at him and continued what it was doing. It seemed exceedingly pleased that the Lord was seeing it do this to a human. The man looked at us and I could see that his eyes were full of pain. He did not scream but was as if he couldn't talk. However, all the pain was written in his eyes. I could also see from the look of his eyes that he was thinking, if only I was the one standing in your place with Jesus right now, I would never sin when I return to earth. I would give anything to be in your place. He looked like a young man. I also saw a huge demon and it was carrying two buckets, one in each hand. Inside each of these huge buckets were countless worms, 
and a person in the middle. The person in one bucket looked thin and grey and his tongue was twisted and hanging out. Their hands were clasped together and drawn to their body and they were sitting, with their knees facing up. Their eyes were rolled white out of pain. The Lord told me that these were also masturbators. Fornication I saw a woman, who used to commit fornication here on earth. Fornication is engaging in premarital sexual affairs. A demon cut off her hands from her elbows, and her legs, from her knees. It then arranged them like firewood and put her grey body there. She was burning on her own hands and feet as firewood. Mark 9, 43-48 Idolatry I saw others for living their lives without anything to do with God but would just go about their daily lives as if God didn't exist. They did not acknowledge Him. God did not come first in their lives. These were idolaters and they did not feed themselves with the word of the Lord. Even living an average Christian life will not get you to heaven. God wants your all or nothing. You have to choose between him and the devil. It's not just about going to church on Sunday, it's about carrying your cross every day. Seeking his face. I also noticed someone who was in hell because this person had perfume and worldly possessions like money as their idol. These things would always come first and this person would always go to extreme heights, even to the point of robbing others and hurting them, just to have these things. God would come last. That is idolatry. I also saw demons with papers that had famous football players on them. These had been drawn in form of cartoons, like comic books. The Lord said, Daughter, this God called football is first place in the hearts of many people and my Holy Spirit has no room in their hearts. Tell them that I will accept no other place but first. Tell them that unless they let go of that idol, they are coming to this place. Jesus told me, No one who is here is innocent. They are here in this place because they sinned and cast my word behind their back. Deep Fear in Hell the Lord showed me that when you are burning in hell, you also feel great intense fear. A horrible dread that never leaves you. You can never feel that depth of fear when you are here on earth. It is a fear that comes from the inner soul. The depth and height of this fear can only be felt in hell and never here on earth. It is so wide and deep that its intensity can only be said to be an eternal dread. We sing songs which say, there are heights of joy and depths of peace which we can never know, until we reach heaven. It was like that in hell. There are heights of fear and depths of dread that you can never reach here on earth until you are in that place. Whatever thing you have ever heard or seen here on earth which made you extremely frightened that you remember it for years or shudder every time you remember is only a speck of dust compared to the fear in this place. Every moment of sorrow, fear, and terror here on earth is seen as moments of joy bliss and happiness to those who are now in hell. To them such moments are equal to the joy one feels here on earth when they have just bought a new car, closed a business deal, or passed their exams with flying colors. This is not to scare you. This is the truth. And you are highly blessed that you know this while still on earth, so that you don't go to this place. Ask Jesus to help you. Jesus able to help people stop sinning. Tell those on earth that I can help them stop their sin. Let them come to me. I will not cast them out. No sin is too hard for me to help them stop. Not even pornography or masturbation. Secular TV or secular music, fornication, drinking, smoking, or any other sin. Nothing is too hard for me. I am God. People tend to put God in a box. They limit what he can do but he is the God who imagined us and created us. The God who created the whole universe with all its splendor and majesty with just the words of his mouth. It is so little a thing to such a great God to help you stop your sin. Continuously ask him. Don't stop. Ask for his Holy Spirit. The Lord also showed me many people still walking to this place of torment. Countless multitudes filling up the road to hell. Some were even pastors that I know with Bibles. The Lord told me, what they preach, they do not practice. Tell them to repent. Loving the world will lead you to hell. 
This message is not for our condemnation but for our salvation. However the Lord said that for some, it will be for their condemnation because they are not willing to repent. The Lord said stop following others to do evil. Whether you will want to believe this or not, I tell you, demons have been offloaded on the earth to make you sin. They have been given bodies that look human, so that they can influence you to sin. They are already doomed but they want to deceive you that they are also human so that you can imitate what they do and become doomed like them. He said, many of them even act movies to take you to hell. They sing songs that do not glorify me but only appeal to the flesh and cause the flesh to become more lustful. Some are posing as your friends, workmates, maids, teachers, neighbors etc. but they are demons from the pit of hell. Follow me and I say only me for I am your faithful friend. Many of them, along with real humans who do not understand are going to fight this message tooth and nail. They are going to be tools in the hand of Satan to take many people to hell but do not be afraid and speak out for you will open your mouth but I will directly speak to the people through your mouth.